I think the main reason there is because they did not prepare their budget well, okay? So that during the budget implementation, it turned out that many of those projects in the budget cannot be implemented, all right? Number two, there are really some inept secretaries. So, uh, I, well, I can't do anything about that. The third possible reason is that they have deliberately created a, uh, a buffer or a slack in the budget which they think they can realign for projects which are not authorized by Congress. Because that's what, the, that's their experience with the DAP, the Disbursements Acceleration Program. We don't intend to do that. Because, for example, if you review my record under Estrada, we, we practically release everything or spend everything that is authorized by Congress uh, because that is needed to prime the economy. I will do the same. Okay? Uh, so so uh, that is the contrast. There will be no underspending in the Duterte administration. You put a lot of importance on agriculture because you said it will bring inclusive growth. Um, what changes are you planning to put in when you start your term? I agree. I think you have to combine that with agrarian reform also because that's the, the failure to implement agrarian reform swiftly is one of the reasons for for the uh, problems in the agricultural sector, okay? So you have to identify, uh, if you notice the, most of the corruption, headline corruption, took place in the agricultural sector. So you have to put a stop to corruption there. So the money f allocated for agriculture will go to real services, okay? So more and more farm to market roads. You have to improve the ports. You have to improve the airports. And then you also have to, uh, very important is irrigation, and I think uh, we can't wait for the huge dams, which could take seven to ten years. So we may have to invest in uh, what is called small water impounding facility. Can we expect, like in the first six months of Duterte, spending it all? There will be a slight pickup. I, I, I don't think we cannot uh, expect magic, right? There's no, uh, but uh, because some of my colleagues are also, <clears throat> they will have to organize their team, right? So, but I think there will be a slight pickup in, in the second half of, of the, uh, the third administration. So, in fact, my, my, my immediate job is to figure out what is left of the 2016 budget, yes. what has been obligated, what, what remains, and what can we do to augment some priority projects. He also has some order like I don't like dump, oh. or rather p dump, right? You okay. know, the pork barrel. He doesn't like it. Uh, he, I think we are also going to review the uh, the four piece, and then we are going to review the BUB bottom up budgeting, mm -hmm. because I don't see uh, the rationale for giving additional grants for cities and progressive provinces and towns. Okay, but in the in that concept everybody is eligible. I, I think we can maybe target the poorest municipalities and provinces consistent with the pro-poor uh, program of Duterte.